Good morning, Westside friends and family. Thank you for joining us, joining me today as we look into God's word for peace and comfort. And we certainly need that in today's world. I know I do. And so today we're continuing on in Psalms. I'll be reading for us Psalm 29. Hear the word of the Lord. Ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. The Lord makes Lebanon leap like a calf, Sirion like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And oh, how we need that peace today. So as we look at our life journal today, and we use our acronym SOAP, S-O-A-P, I had to pick the last two verses uh, of the Psalm, verses 10 and 11, as this, the verses that spoke the most hope and comfort to me. And let me read them again for us. The Lord sits, sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And my observation is simply, we have a powerful God as this Psalm describes, so powerful over all of creation. He is majestic, and yet, no matter what storms rage, he is definitely on the throne still. He is in control. He is writing history. And so it may seem sometimes so out of control to us. We can have hope and peace that we have a God who is on the throne. And we don't need to fear. Obviously, his voice will strike terror into his enemies. But to those of us who have given our lives to him, we are safe. His power can bring us comfort that he's all powerful over whatever evils and heartache may strike us from time to time. My application is simply for those of us who know him to continue to trust in him. Just like Noah was safe inside the ark as the rain came down, we are safe in our Lord's arms. We're never told that this life will be easy. And yet our application point is simply to keep holding on to Jesus. I think of 1 Corinthians 13, 12, where we're told the truth that now we see as through a mirror dimly. But one day we will see face to face. Now we know in part. But then we will truly understand. My paraphrase. The idea is, yes, so often we don't understand what happens. There's so much tragedy. There's so much chaos in our lives, in the people's lives that we love around us, and in our world. But we are called simply to trust in our Abba Daddy, to keep believing that the best is yet ahead. Our stories aren't over. And so no matter what we're facing, I pray that we can hold on to Jesus' hand and we can encourage each other to keep doing the same. Even though we're not together like we'd wish, I'm so thankful that we have technology that can keep us a little bit connected. And I truly believe, as you do, in the power of God's word and the power of prayer. So our final letter in the acronym SOAP is to pray. And let me do that for us right now. Thank you, God, for promising us in this psalm 
that you are indeed on the throne and that you give us, your people, strength and peace. And oh, how we need that today. So would you bless each one listening today with a fresh outpouring of your spirit, of your spirit's peace, faith, courage to see beyond what's right in front of us to that day when we will join with all the heavenly angels in worshiping and praising you in victory in your perfect love where there's no more pain or sorrow. Thank you, God, for this time. We praise you and we love you. In Jesus' strong name, amen. Amen. Have a great day.